This video will discuss ways to customize your team homepage, such as adding news articles, creating custom menus and pages, and adding content to the More Information section. We'll also show you how to add your team logo and a background image to your site. Let's start by adding a news article to your homepage. After you log in, click on the Teams tab at the top of your home landing page, which will take you to the Content sub tab. Click the Articles icon next to your team, then click the Create New Article link on the left side of the page. After clicking the link, fill in the article information, making sure to include the required fields. The Select Type drop-down allows you to choose how your article will appear on your team's website. The Homepage News options will display the article's headline and preview snippet on your homepage. Homepage News 1 will appear on the top, followed by Homepage News 2. The Homepage Highlight News option will display the article's photo, headline, and image caption in the main Highlight Image section on the homepage. The Homepage News articles will also appear on the News page, which displays all active news listings. The News option will place your article on the News page only, so it will not appear on your homepage. The Head field is for your article's headline, and the Preview Snippet field is for a short preview shown on the Home and News pages. The Body field is for the main content of your article. In the Preview Snippet and Body fields, you can use the editor to format your content by adding custom text, images, and even HTML. The Publishing Date section is used to specify the active date, which is when you would like the article to first appear on the news page, as well as the expiration date, when it will no longer be displayed. The Photos section allows you to add images to your article. The main photo is used for your main homepage and thumbnail image. You can add additional photos if you wish, which can be viewed from the news page. The Comments field is for adding an optional caption to the bottom of your photo. After saving your article, it will be listed in the article section of the content sub tab. If you ever need to modify your article, you can access it here. Next, we'll add a custom menu to your homepage. We'll start by creating a custom web page that we'll link to from the menu. From the content sub tab, select the pages icon to the right of your team, then click the create new page link on the left side of the page. Add the page title as well as the page body where you can use the editor to format your content by adding custom text, images, and HTML. Now choose your custom URL. This will create a unique and easy to remember address for your page. Enter your desired URL and click the check availability button to verify that it's available. If not, try again using a variation of your URL. After saving your page, it will be listed in the Pages section of the Content sub tab. If you ever need to modify your page, you can access it here. Now that we've created a custom page, we can add it to our custom menu on the home page. From the Content sub tab, select the Menus icon to the right of your team, which will take you to your Menus control panel. From here, you can select any top navigation menu that you'd like to edit. By clicking Select Page, you will be prompted to set up a menu link to one of your pages. Select your page from the drop-down menu, and then fill in the display name for your link, which will appear on your menu. Click the Save button to add your link. Keep in mind that the links you add to your custom menu are only temporary until you save the entire menu. So if you'd like to keep your changes, be sure to save the menu as well by clicking the Save button on the lower right of the menu's control panel before exiting. After saving your custom menu, you can see it on your home page by clicking the Content sub tab and then your team's view icon. On your team's site, your custom menu will also be available on the pages that you've added to your menu. You can also add links to your footer menu by clicking on your team's footer icon on the Content sub tab and following the same process. Next, we'll add content to the More Information section of your homepage, which is typically a good place to add additional information describing your team. From the Teams tab, click the Manager sub tab and then the Edit icon for your team. In the More Information Editing section, you can add your content and style it as you wish. After you've completed this section, click Save to save your changes. To see your updated homepage, click your team's View icon. Finally, let's add your team logo to your site. Your logo will appear to the left of your team name at the top of the screen. 
From the Teams tab, click your Teams Design icon on the Design sub tab. This takes you to your Teams Design panel where you can add your logo, background image, and more. From the Logo tab, click the Add Edit Photo button to upload your logo image. Click the Save button and then click on your Teams View icon to see your updated homepage. If you'd like to add a background image to your Teams site as well, you can do so from the Background Image tab on your Teams Design panel. As with the logo, click the Add Edit Photo button to upload your image, followed by the Save button. Once again, you can view your updated homepage by clicking on your Teams View icon. For more information on customizing your Team homepage, please see our online user guide. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.